Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yes, it's me, Luxi, from Heritage Radio, and I've been joined by, wow, the wonderful Maher Zain. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, alhamdulillah. Last couple of days been good? Enjoyed them? Very good. Always, always good to be here in the UK. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fire, I'm going to fire, start with these questions now. I'm just going to fire off these questions. Right. Obviously, your recent album, called yeah, One. One. I keep, on, I keep on saying one because I expect it to be number one. It's going to be, <laughs> martial is absolutely amazing. I love it. Great, thank you. Name me one track, just one track from the recent album uh, that you're most proud of. Mm. Medina. <laughs> Medina. We had a feeling you were going to say Medina. <laughs> Can you tell us why? Medina is, is uh, it's always something special, you know. Medina is the city. Medina is the city of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's like, uh, you know, it's just, uh, and it's, uh, you know, feel good song. Uh, I recorded also my my daughter in that song, Aya. Oh, wow. She's the one who's singing in the beginning, you know. So, oh no way! Yeah. <laughs> oh, mashallah. So, yeah. So alhamdulillah. So I think that's one of the songs that uh, we we really believed in, you know, before we released it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Right. Next question: Which song that you've recorded or written mm. is most personal to you, and why? So it, it might be a life experience or maybe a life changing I think, moment. I think it could be. Uh, thank you, Allah. Because I'm, I'm talking about, you know, uh, my, my journey, you know, that I was far from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but He was always close to me. And I didn't realize that until I took the first step towards Him. And that's when He opened the doors for me. And that's what I'm saying in the song. And that's what really, like, it's a very personal song. Wicked. MashaAllah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Thanks. Right. Okay. Which artist are you looking to potentially collaborate with next year? Uh, I don't know. I, haven't, I don't have any in, in, in my head or plan, you know, but inshallah, you know, looking forward to... I mean, collaborate with anyone who can. You know, we can do something good together, something yeah. fun and something meaningful, you know. Mainstream, non-mainstream, doesn't matter. Just like uh, like we worked with Atif Aslam and Mustafa Jajeli from Turkey. Yeah. You know, we, um, we, brought, we came together and, uh, you know, did a song about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And we did a song about Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, you know, the I'm Alive, called I'm Alive. So, so I'm open to work with anyone where we can do something good together, you know, have a good impact. Wow, mashallah. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, how did the collaboration with Awakening Records come about? It was uh, 2008. Uh, you know, I had a friend in, uh, have a friend in Sweden who, uh, you know, it's a long story, of course, but yeah. to make it short, <laughs> you know, I used to work as a music producer and then I became a practicing Muslim, alhamdulillah, you know, I'm trying mm -hmm. to, I came closer to Islam and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, uh, and that's when I started, you know, I had uh, some new friends in my life as well. So one of the friends, he heard me sing, and we had a discussion, and he knew, you know, about Awakening Records. He knew the guys from Awakening Records. And he told me, look, what do you want to do? You know, what, what, is your, what, are, what are your plans, you know, with your music, singing? I told him, I heard about this record label, it's called Awakening, and uh, I will approach them and see what happens, you know. Yeah. So he said, I know them. So that's how, you know, he introduced me to them. And... Uh, and then, uh, you know, I sent an email with some demos, with my story, you know, like a letter of my story. Mm. And uh, they invited me to Egypt. We had a, we stay, I stayed there for a month, you know, we got to know each other. And then, you know, we just uh, started immediately working on my album, my first oh, album. Wow. Yeah. Mashallah, so it was, uh, it was just like a, a meant to be meeting. <laughs> or, or wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes just meant to be. Yeah, Mashallah, Alhamdulillah. All right, wicked. Um, okay. This is a tricky question. Sure. Uh, which, and you got to be careful with this, okay. which country has given you the best reaction so far? <laughs> uh, I don't know, it's, it's many, you know, but I have to say, there's one show in Tunis. Yeah. I was in Tunis and I had a show. And mashallah, you know, the people, you know, I always, people show me love from everywhere, you know. But when I was there, you could see it, not just me, because there was like uh, Masood Kurtz who was performing before oh, me. Wow, yeah. And you could see like uh, the people's voices were louder than the speakers. Wow. I'm not joking. So they were singing louder than the speakers. So, uh, same thing when I went on stage as well. They were singing loud in the speakers. That is amazing. So I, had, I, I had issues like hearing myself. So that was like uh, amazing. Yeah, in Tunisia, yeah. And, uh, okay. yeah, so that was, that was one. Of course, I've had many, you know, like Morocco and, I don't know, everywhere, Malaysia. everywhere we go. Yeah, Malaysia, Indonesia, it's like Europe, many places in Europe, you know, we have performed them. Just like, uh, yeah, it's, you know. Wicked. Very, very, a lot of love, you know. Yeah, and definitely, <laughs> definitely. Well, you promote a lot of love, so you should get it back. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Um, okay, do you have any funny stories from your tours around different countries? 
Have you got one funny story, quick story that you can tell us? I have a story, but it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> I fell off the stage one time. <laughs> oh, wow. No way. Yeah, man. I hurt myself badly, you know. For, but alhamdulillah, you know, I, it could have been worse, you know. Yeah. It was like two years ago. I, was, uh, fi I just finished my show and uh, went backstage. And then they invited me to stage again, you know, to thank me and stuff like that. Mm. You know, so, so, I, so it was like, you know, no, you go first, no, you go first, no, you go first. And then I ended up going first. <laughs> and I'm going, like, fixing my blazer, you know. And then I stepped outside the, 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 oh, no way. the stage. I felt like, bam, you know, on my arm like this. Oh. And then, you know, I broke. I, I, yes, there was a fracture in my rib for like two, three months, you know. So that oh, was a wow. story I would never forget. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely an experience. And that was just like, you know, after the show immediately, you know, we had the bags and everything. We, we went to the airport. We had a long flight, long flight to, uh, to Morocco, Casablanca. Oh, wow. So I was in pain like throughout the whole journey. Wait, did you perform then in Morocco yeah, with, the, with the rib yeah, as well? Yeah, they got me some medications. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, actually, wow. it was in Tangier, not Casablanca. Tangier, oh. yeah. Tangier. Be beautiful city. Beautiful. Okay, what gave you the idea to record songs in different languages? And do you still study them languages? I don't study them, and I don't. I don't even understand what I'm saying, brother. <laughs> no, but I know, of course, you know, like the whole. It's, it's basically a translation of the of the song itself. You know, like uh, inshallah, for example, we wrote it in French. Uh, like Yanabi Salam Aleikum, we have in different languages as well. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I mean, the, the the idea of singing in different languages is a way of uh, you know, if, of reaching out to them as well. You know, many people don't know all the languages. They don't. For example, they don't speak English. They don't understand English. So mm -hmm. it's a way of uh, reaching out to them also. And uh, Alhamdulillah, it worked. You know, we, we sang in, I sang in seven languages, you know. I, so, like but I speak only three. <laughs> okay, what languages? I speak only speak? three. Arabic, uh, Swedish, and English. You know, it does sound like you're actually are fluent in them when you sing them. It's also much like you're doing really well with them. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah. amazing. I work hard on making that happen. So. It's, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, okay, final question. I had to end on, end on this. Mm. What message do you have for the younger generations of today? Hmm. Hold on, on to education. Is that right? Uh, so, yeah. yeah, make sure, don't let go of education, yes, basically. Exactly, because, yeah. you know, those, like, the, the young years, the, the years between at least, you know, 16 and 20, 22, you know, those are the years that will you know, determine their future. They will even form your personalities, you know. Yeah. So I think, uh, and I remember that, you know, from myself as well, that was the years that was, like, very critical years. It could, it could, it could have gone bad. It could have, you know, it can go, uh, it can go bad. It can go right. Yeah. So, uh, so, uh, and education is so important. You know, we don't realize that until we're there. We don't have any job. You know, we don't have any yeah, exactly. like a thing to fall back to. Even if we have a job, you know, and something happens in the future, like Alhamdulillah, I'm very happy, and uh, and uh, satisfied that I continue and finish my, you know, degree in, in aeronautical, uh, the, the you know the airplane area technical. Yeah. So. Uh, like, uh, even if I decide to stop singing one day, you never know. You know, I can always, will always fall back to something that I learned, you know, in school, yeah, yeah. my education. I have a degree in that, so. So it's very important that we have that. Those years, you know, they're critical. It's very hard, you know, to uh, think about the future when you're in that age. Because you always think about today and uh, not tomorrow, you know. So, so uh, just an advice, you know. Try to, uh, you know, hold, hold on hard into those years, until those years. Don't let go. Yeah. Don't let go. Jazakallah, Mahazin, for spending time with us and actually talking to us. I really do appreciate thank it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for giving me the time. It is our absolute pleasure. That's all it is from me, Luxi. And Mahazin. <laughs> there we go. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.